So I've just returned from southern and eastern Europe where not surprisingly the various economic crises have compounded and really inflamed a lot of social tensions. The first country I visited was Greece. Um, Athens uh, has received a massive influx of uh, migrants and asylum seekers, mostly from Asia and Africa. Uh, it's become kind of a primary gateway for migrants trying to enter the EU. And what's happened is you've seen uh, an attendant rise in xenophobia and uh, the catapulting to the national political stage of a party called Golden Dawn and has really capitalized off of a lot of this anti-immigrant sentiment and, and xenophobia um, to become a national power. They started in these areas that were ghetto areas in Athens and an election last spring, they entered the national parliament. I did talk to Ali Rahimi, who uh, last September, in September 2011, was uh, stabbed repeatedly in the torso by a group of attackers. Police arrested uh, and in a, in a rare display of prosecutorial follow-up are uh, trying a case right now against three people, one of whom is the, fa the daughter of the founder of the party, Golden Dawn. However, there were, uh, in, co in conversations with people in these neighborhoods, people did say that there's this collaboration between elements of the police and Golden Dawn and the citizens groups and that all three are involved uh, in clearing immigrants out of public spaces. Uh, people also told me that you know Golden Dawn specifically uh, has been involved in violence and, and that's kind of a known fact uh, on the street in some of these neighborhoods. Um, even while the party has gone on to represent itself as a sort of social service organization that's concerned about Greeks, I witnessed a food distribution there where uh, Golden Dawn members were passing out groceries to people uh, and also taking donations, uh, blood donations. They had a, a, a policy that some people say is intended to uh, enforce racial purity. They only let Greeks give blood and they only let Greeks receive blood, uh, ethnic Greeks. In Hungary I saw a, a similar phenomenon. It wasn't quite as uh, entrenched in the security and political establishment as Golden Dawn. Um, but there are a number of these extremist groups, uh, maybe equivalent to the group that, uh, that, that uh, Anders Breivik from Norway had consulted with and collaborated with, uh, looking for ideas and looking for uh, strategies and being further, further radicalized in conversations on the internet and, and summits across EU borders. So I think Europe right now is confronting some of the social consequences of, of the economic disarray. Um, and I think that in the long term, as, as the case uh, in Greece shows, the, uh, the social tensions and, and political consequences that have gotten very little attention by comparison uh, pose, pose the, f the far greater danger as that continent has seen before.